Greetings and salutations. This is the voice of Loquacious of Heard, here to provide my blind reaction to Ruby, Season 2, Episode 2, Welcome to Beacon. A new semester at the Huntsman and Huntress Training Academy, and trouble brewing in the veil. Whatever will come of all that? Only one way to find out. And so, without further ado, ladies, gentlemen, and those who have yet to make up their minds, let us see what Ruby, Season 2, Episode 2, has in store for me as we continue our story, Once Upon a Time. Ah, good old Rooster Teeth. Beacon Academy. Ruby there. Show us the men behind the curtain. Hey! Good call on my part. Ironwood certainly loves bringing his work wherever he travels. Well, running an academy in a military makes him a busy man. True. But yes, those are a bit of an eyesore. It's a bit of heavy weaponry. Come in. Ozpin. Hello, General. Please, Dr. Formalities. <laughs> It's been too long. And Glinda, it has certainly been too long since we last met. Oh, James. I'll be outside. Hmm. I sense no love lost. Well, she hasn't changed a bit. So, what in the world has brought you all the way down from Atlas? Headmasters don't typically travel with their students for the vital festival. Ah. Well, you know how much I love Vale this time of year. Besides, with you hosting, I thought this might be a good opportunity for us to... Catch her. Hmm. I can certainly appreciate quality time between friends. However, a small fleet outside my window has me somewhat concerned. Well, concern is what uh -huh. brought me. I understand travel between kingdoms has become increasingly difficult. Oz, you and I both know why I brought those men. Let me guess. Fine. Uh, we are in a time of peace. Shows of power like this are just going to give off the wrong impression. But if what Crow said is true, then... If what Crow said is hmm. true, then Perhaps we can handle it tactfully. It's the vital festival. A time to celebrate unity and peace. So I suggest you not scare people by transporting hundreds of soldiers halfway across the continent. I'm just being cautious. As am I. Which is why we will continue to train the best huntsmen and huntresses we can. Good plan. Believe me, I am. But ask yourself this. Do you honestly believe your children can win a war? Possibly. There's some pretty good fighters. I hope they never have. That's to. an even better response. Ooh, library. I like. Mm. Cards. Prepare your kingdom for battle. Bring it on. I deploy the Elysian Air Fleet. <gasps> Looks like I get to fly right over your Ursi and attack your wolf directly. Okay. <gasps> you fiend. And since Atlas is part of Mantle, my repair time only lasts one turn. <laughs> Pretty sneaky, sis. But you just activated my trap card. Oh, my. Giant Nevermore. 
If I roll a seven or higher, Fatal Feathers will slice your fleet in two. But if you roll a six or lower, the Nevermore will turn on your own forces. That's just a chance I'm willing to take. Wow. Hey, wait a minute. That comic book. Is that the same one that the bad guys got the other dude? Oh, hey. Hmm, possibly. <clears throat> yes, steady. No. <laughs> well, Weiss, it's your turn. I have absolutely no <laughs> idea what's going That's on. That's a good idea. <laughs> Look, it's easy. Yes. You're playing as Vacuo, which means all Vacuo-based cards come with a bonus. That sounds dumb. See, you've got Sandstorm, Desert Scavenge, oh, oh, Resourceful Raider. See, now you can take Ruby's discard air fleet. Duh. And put it in your hands. Okay. And since Vacuo Warriors have an endurance boost against natural hazards, you could use Sandstorm to disable my ground forces and simultaneously infiltrate my kingdom. Just know that I will not forget this declaration of war. And that means... You're just three moves away from conquering Remnant! <laughs> <laughs> and yes. of course. Fear the almighty power of my forces. Cower as they pillage your homes and weep as they take your children from your very arms. Trap card. Huh? Your armies have been destroyed. I hate this game of emotions we play. These strong wise will make it through the city. Somehow together. I don't think. Shut up! Don't touch me! You will. All right, Blake, you're up. Oh. Huh? Oh, um. Sorry, what am I doing? You're playing as Vale, trying to conquer the kingdoms of Remnant. Why? Right. Hey, can I play? Sorry, Jean, we've already got four people. Besides, this game requires a certain level of tactical cunning that I seriously doubt you It possess. also requires uh, a lot. You attacked your own naval fleet two turns ago. <laughs> Bring it on, Ice Queen. I'll have you know that I've been told I'm a natural-born leader. By who? Your uh, mother? And Pyrrha. <laughs> Come Hello on, again. let me play yes. your hand for a turn. I'm not trusting you with the good citizens of Vacuo. Why not? You've trusted me with way more important stuff before. I mean, you told us all that Blake is secretly a fun-loving person, whom we all admire and respect. <laughs> right. That. Ladies, enjoy your battle. What's up, losers? Hey, son. Ruby, Yang, Blake, Ice Queen. Why does everyone keep calling Because it's an appropriate that? name. I never got a chance to formally introduce you to my old friend. Uh, aren't libraries for reading? Thank <laughs> you. Hey, hey. <laughs> 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 hey, Intellectual. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. I'm Neptune. So Neptune. Neptune. Where are you from? Haven. And I don't believe I've caught your name, Snow Angel. Um, I'm Weiss. Are you kidding me? Pleasure to meet you. I never took you as the board game playing type. Right. Well, I think I'm done playing, actually. I'll see mm. you guys later. Women. <laughs> Brothers of the White Fang, why aren't you eating this stuff? The White Fang and I are going in on a joint business venture together. Oh, they haven't repaired the beds. Well, this has certainly been an eventful evening. Hasn't it? Mm. I'm sure that after a night of thwarting attempted robbery, you probably just want to go home and take a nap. But I was hoping that maybe we could have a chance to talk. That's an interesting addition to his of cane. Of course. Wonderful. As you know, in order to enroll at my academy, students must first pass a rigorous entrance exam. Most applicants spend years of preparation training at one of the many combat schools around oh, the world. Or they can steal someone else's paperwork. You are one of the few who did not. Few. And you pass the exam with flying colors. I was raised outside the kingdoms. If you can't fight, you can't survive. Well, you have most certainly survived, Blake. I admire your drive, and I am proud to run a school that accepts individuals from all walks of life. Rich, poor, human, faunus. Why do you wear that bow, Blake? Why hide who you are? You may be willing to accept the faunus, Professor Ospin. Your species is not Good point. true, but we are continuing to take strides to lessen the divide. With all due respect, you need to start taking some larger strides. Until then, I'd rather avoid any unnecessary attention. I hmm. want people to see me for who I am, not what I am. Valid concern. And what are you? I, I don't understand what you're asking. How did you know the White Fang would be at the shipyard tonight? I didn't. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. You wouldn't have been the first. 
but what happened tonight was not an isolated incident. I may be your headmaster, mm. but I am also a huntsman. And it is my sworn duty to protect this world from the forces that conspire against it. the Grim. Blade. But there are others. Are you sure there is nothing else you would like to tell me? I'm sure. Very well. Thank you for your time, Ms. Belladonna. Hmm. If you ever need to talk to me, please don't hesitate to ask. Hmm. Nice. Ugh, we should have never let him play. <laughs> You're just mad because the new guy beat you. <laughs> See, if you had just attacked when I told you, none of this would have happened. Stop. Lately, you've been quiet, antisocial, and moody. Uh, have you met Blake? <laughs> Which I get is kind of your thing, but you've been doing it more mm. than usual. Which, quite frankly, is unacceptable. You made a promise to me, mm. to all of us, that you would let us know if something was wrong. So, Blake Belladonna, what is wrong? Good balance. I just, I don't understand how everyone can be so calm. You're still thinking about Torchwick? Torchwick? The White Fang? All of it. Something big is happening and no one is doing anything about it. Ospin told us not to worry. Between the police and the Huntsmen, I'm sure they could handle it. Well, I'm mm. not. They don't know the White Fang like I do. There is that. Okay. Between blowing up nightclubs, stopping thieves, and fighting for freedom, I'm sure the three of you think you're all ready to go out and apprehend these ne'er-do-wells. Uh, who? But let me once again be the voice of reason. <laughs> We're students. We're not ready to handle this sort of situation. Well, well yeah, at least not authorized. We're not ready. And we may never be ready. Our enemies aren't just going to sit around and wait for graduation day. They're out there somewhere planning their next move, and none of us know what it is, but it's coming. Whether we're ready at or not. At least Torchwick doesn't know what it is either. Okay. All in favor of becoming the youngest hunter sister to single handedly bring down a corrupt organization conspiring against the Kingdom of Vale, say I. Yes! I love it when you're feisty. Well, I suppose it could be fun. None of you said I. All right, then. We're in this together. Let's hatch a plan. Yeah! <gasps> I left my board game in the library. We're doomed. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, 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 God. Sorry. <laughs> are, are you okay? I'm fine. Just watch where you're going. Oh, hello, you oh, two. Uh, right. Sorry. Uh, um, I'm Ruby. Are you new? Visiting from Haven, actually. Interesting. Ooh, you're here for the festival. Oh, but exchange students have their own dormitory. I guess we just got turned around. <laughs> Don't worry, it happens all the time. Uh, your building is just east of here. Thanks. Maybe we'll see you around. Probably. Yeah, maybe. Oh, uh, and welcome to Beacon. Yes. Welcome to Beacon. Will you be responsible for the explosions that are going to be coming to Beacon? Because I sense explosions. Fire! And some fighting. But that won't be for another episode or two at least. Well, well. So far, so good. I will be pleased to see what comes next. But for now, the time has come to leave, Ruby, and move on <laughs> to the next episode. But until then, kindly remember, y'all are awesome, stay awesome.